Hello and welcome to Docplex's news. An RTA response revealed that the National Board of Examinations collected rupees 48 crore as application fees from NEET PG aspirants. After a medical student wrote to Prime Minister's office regarding the NBE's alleged rupees 30 crore profit, the board stated that the fees were approved by the Ministry of Health. Later, it was clarified that the Ministry does not deal with the application fees prescribed by the National Board of Examinations for NEET PG. AIMS will now be adopting a two-stage registration method to reduce application rejection. They will be following the prospective applicants' advanced registration model for MBBS applications. The two-stage process will include a basic registration and a final registration. This process will reduce the necessity to register twice and also reduce anomalies which are caused due to application from deadlines. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases is funding many universal vaccine trials of which M001, a peptide vaccine, is now in phase 3 clinical trial. Previous trials found that M001 and the standard flu vaccine have a synergistic effect which proved to be beneficial. Other universal vaccines in the pipeline include live attenuated influenza vaccine with chimeric hematoglutinin adjuvant track 478 among few others. Scientists from the Purdue University in the US have developed a smart drainage device that would help patients with glaucoma to save their eyesight. This device is built with micro-actuators that vibrate when a magnetic field is introduced and the vibrations shake loose the biomaterials that have built up in the tube. It can vary flow resistance which allows the drainage technology to customize treatment for each patient at different stages of glaucoma. E-cigarettes being the leading cause of preventable death in the US, the US FDA has announced a series of moves to drive young people away from tobacco products. The ban will be imposed on flavoured cigarettes. This decision was taken after research in the youth population showed that flavoured cigarettes are more attractive and harder to quit than regular cigarettes. In UP, every year, more than 61,000 newborns die within 24 hours of their birth. UNICEF data for the State Health Department shows that around 55 lakh babies are born in UP each year, out of which 1.65 lakh die. The experts said that the main reason behind these deaths is preterm births, followed by neonatal infections picked up from labour rooms and lack of basic hygiene by health staff and parents. The Democratic Republic of Congo plans to launch a clinical trial of four Ebola treatments. The experimental drugs include an antiviral medicine and three monoclonal antibodies. Though it's rare to use unlicensed drugs in such a large population outside clinical trials, it was essential to start the treatment while the officials designed and negotiated for human trials. After much controversy regarding the quality of stents manufactured in India, a study comparing an Indian stent with the foremost foreign stent brand has concluded that it is just as good. At the scientific session of the American Heart Association in Chicago, cardiologists from Germany presented the results of an extended follow-up of 2,603 patients. This 10-year follow-up study compared the clinical outcomes of the Indian stent with that of the foreign one. A team of neurosurgeons from Ames Patna have successfully performed an endoscopic brain surgery on a 60-year-old patient who had severe headache and poor vision for the last one year. This is the first of its kind surgery which was led by Dr. Vikas Chandrajha. In this endoscopic surgery, a 1cm button hole incision was made in the spinoid bone through patient's nose and reached the 3cm long tumour. According to Dr. Jha, endoscopic brain surgery was much more beneficial than a conventional open brain surgery. 
The surgery was done just like cosmetic surgeries, without external incisions to avoid interference of brain tissues. Due to the minimum incision and blood loss, hospital stay of the patient reduced and patient recovery was faster. Let us know your views about the surgery by commenting below. These were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by Docplexes, one of the largest online communities of doctors. Stay tuned for more every Thursday at 6pm. Happy Docplexing!